Hello everybody and welcome to Roguelike Roulette. We are back again playing Risk of Rain 2 and I think we're going to do something a little special today, a little special. Uh, we're going to play it as good old Commander. We're going to go on Monsoon and we're going to put on just the one artifact, Artifact of Glass. We haven't done an Artifact of Glass in a little while. I think the first one we did was with the Hunter. So let's try it out. This will most likely be an absolute dumpster fire. Um, almost guaranteed in fact, but... If we can get the right sort of items early, things could be beautiful. I really, really like the Artifact of Glass. It's really fun. It, the only problem with it, in my opinion, is some of the elites can, can just one-shot you super easily. And that's really not too fun. But we will try our best. See how it goes. Wisps are probably the biggest problem in the game, honestly. Let's see what we get here. Oh, that's great. Movement speed, is being able to get away from enemies and stay out of range is very important. I'm going to do this here and see if we can get it done. Nice. Extra bit of cashola for us. I think getting hit by basically anything is a death sentence. I mean, it's not going to kill us in one hit, but it puts us in a position where we could get killed in one hit. So we really want to be careful for getting any damage on us whatsoever. Looks like our teleport is just over there. This is a nice starting area. It's probably one of my favorites. But yeah, do, do let me know if you guys have any other extra challenges you want me to do. Like I did one the other day where I only took like crowbars. If, any, if you want to see any wacky shit like that, please do let me know. I always want extra feedback on series like this. That is brilliant. Although not too great on this character, getting extra damage on our first shot will always be valuable. We're just going to poot around a little bit more and see if we can find any more chests. One of them guys down there. Or Marion. We do have a chance shrine here. I won't take that yet though. I'd rather take my guaranteed items before we take our chance items. That's really good. Uh, whatever that procs, we're going to get a decent amount of extra damage there. Now we will try this again. Where's our other guy? Oh my god, that's almost insta-killing even the big guys. That's going to be insanely powerful for us if it's doing stuff like that. Right, we'll go and play this now. Uh, we probably do have some other chests around, but I'm just going to play it now. That's failed one. If I fail three in a row, I don't use it again. Personal shield generator, just having one of those is fine. There you go. We're not playing it again. I got my one item out of it. Yeah, they end up costing way too much if you just piss around with them for too long. Oh, and we have a big chest here as well. I think we can still afford it, to be honest. Is that a new visual on the uh, personal shield generator? Definitely looks like it. I don't remember having this visual before. Those rockets are going to be huge for us. Yes, we can afford it. And that is... <gasps> yes. This is great. These rockets are going to be absolutely massive for us. Like this boss, if we can not get insta-blipped by it, then rockets are going to do great work. Beetle Queen's probably the best we could ask for right now. As you can see, rockets are doing great work already. Poo Poo Feather is actually brilliant too. Uh, it allows us to negate fall damage and it allows us to just stay safe, get, out, get the way, out of the way of enemies, jump up to slightly higher ledges, things like that. It's going to be very, very beautiful. Uh, the main enemy we need to be looking out for here are the uh, Wisps, but also the Lemarians can be quite a pain as well. I mean, we'll keep our eye on all the enemies we can, but they're the main ones. Luckily, we're getting just the Beetles spawning right now. Beetles really aren't a threat. He ain't much of a threat at all. These guys will get into the point now where we can kill them pretty easily. One wisp there. Normally wisps spawn in groups, so I'm a bit apprehensive that that's the only one. I very well could be, but I'll probably use that China Shrine again before we go. It's less XP, but I'd rather get the items. Of course, the items are very valuable for us. Um... Nice. Knowing that our ability is pretty much an insta-kill on those big dudes is really, really nice here. And I am having fun. I love the glass. Glass ride. It's super risk-reward. I mean, you kill things so fast and it's so fun, but you can just get insta-melted by basically anything. Um, we do have some beetles below us by the sounds of things. Oh, no, is that just another Lomarian? It is. Let's get him. We can one-shot the Lomarians right now, which is great. There you go. The elites are even going down quick. Right, let's take another few stabs at this. Probably got two more stabs at it. Hey, we've got our payout anyways. War banner, while not great, is a good thing to get early, so I'm not disappointed by it. And if we could find our teleporter early, 
uh, on the next stage and try and level up near it. That would prove quite useful for later on. I still don't really know if the rockets, the ATG rockets, actually proc more with extra fire rate, but if they do, that would be very useful for that reason. Let's get these pots out of the way, because these pots can be pretty dangerous. Don't want them accidentally hitting us, so we're just going get, to get rid of them while we can. Let's just check this, see what we got going on here. Two bustling funguses and a war banner. Not particularly good. I might end up buying the, the war banner, but bustling fungus, of course, on this mode, more than any other, is just not worth it at all. Um, seems like we've got a lot of moving around to do to find our enemies here. We we're not getting too many spawn next to us. As long as we stay on the move, the movement speed is really good for this. We've got 57 already. That's enough for a, a small chest, I think. Let's go on the prowl for one of those. Nice. War Banner's first one, first proc there. Again, pop that while we're here. We just want to get it out of our face, out of the way. Do not want to be dealing with it. Looks like we've got no chest around this back half of the map, which is unexpected. For sure, unexpected. Uh, that does hopefully mean that there'll be a pretty big cluster from the other side of the map, though. There's one. This is a special chest, so it's going to cost slightly more. But this is a utility one, so we could get movement speed from this. Hey, we got stun grenades. Honestly, chance to stun is really, really nice when enemies do so much damage. If we could actually build up a few more of those, that would be ideal. Normally, I'm, I'm not a big, I'm not a big fan of those, but we can get a few of them stacked up. They can be really fun. Right, see what we get here. Um, I don't know what that does. I can never remember. I'm not going to take it. Anything I don't recognise, if it is foreign to me. It stays away. I do not have to send policy for humans. Do not worry. Right. Our food. Ooh, this this could... We've got this early enough for it to be semi-useful. Normally, I don't really like this as a guns term. But... Ooh, yeah. Crit glasses are great. I do want to take this, but I know the enemies it could spawn. I really don't want to have to deal with them. Um... That's pretty good. Basically, if we ever get set on fire, we can just completely cleanse ourselves. Which is very important, because fire is essentially an insta-kill for us. Although, I think most enemies that would light us on fire would probably kill us in one hit anyways. Well, I don't know. Do, do, you, do we have one hit protection right now? I don't actually know if we do. I'm not 100% sure. Having a war banner here is quite nice. Backup magazine. It is nice. Okay, we've got quite a few boys over here. Our crits are doing great work right now. Okay, you, we've got another chest over there, and that's an offensive chest as well. That's what I like to see. Let's get over there and pop that open. Pop up on that bad boy. What are you giving us? Warhorn, activating... What's our active time on this? 20 seconds. That's really good, actually. A 20 second activate effect on that. Just for a fire rate boost for a short time. I think it's 8 seconds, 4 seconds, something like that. Uh, it's going to be actually pretty useful, and I'm definitely happy to have it. We do have a 3D printer over there. Very rare that I'm going to take a 3D printer right now, because I like most of the items I've got going on. But there is a few situations in which I would. Um, more crit glasses is tickety-boo. Very tickety-boo indeed. It is a backup magazine. Okay, that missile should kill him. It didn't, surprisingly. We will make sure he's dead anyways. Uh, so we only have this left. I'm gonna I'm gonna pop this open. And then go for that chance shrine. Because we might as well have the extra range, because why not? I mean, the extra range is pretty good. So we got ourselves sticky bombs, pretty decent. And we got ourselves gasoline, which is also pretty decent. I'm happy to have that too. Right, let's pull back this way. There's a few bosses here that could really end our life pretty quickly. Uh, just you, isn't it? Yeah, just you. Don't think we missed any chests so far. Oh, we did, uh, we did, we did. Fireworks, while not super useful, the massively increased damage on them does make them pretty good. So we'll, we'll do this. We'll move a decent distance away here. 
And he spawned right on top of me, which is terrible. But luckily, our missiles sorted him out. And that's actually really good too. Considering we're killing most enemies in quick succession, that's pretty good. We did almost die there. Almost. That was close. We need some sustain, some healing, some protection, like teddy bears, things like that. That'd be great. It's going to be nice for leveling up, actually. Okay, I'm pretty happy with how that went so far. Um, it's going to be a little hard staying alive here. We're not in a great position. We might get a level up during this, though, which is pretty nice. We're killing some elites and such. <clears throat> that might help out a little bit. I'm going to stick, stick on top of this rock so I've got, like, full angles and I've got cover from all sides sort of thing. I just dip down the other side of this. Another great thing about missiles, they're going to seek out enemies that we don't see. Which is very important for us right now. There you go. There's our war banner. Little bit bonus fire rate. Movement speed while we're on top of this rock here. I like to see it. I like to see it. And we're at 80% here. Doing just fine. Doing just fine. Oh, how I do love glass runs. They're so fun. Right, good, good, good. We are a skeppy. Right. We're actually really, really well versed for our items here. There's not really any items that I particularly want to get rid of. I think everything we've got is pretty, pretty good, really. Uh, now, this floor does become... Certainly more problematic. Especially with enemies like that, who we just tanked the fuck out of. We might be able to kill him before he gets to us, especially if these missiles can make it. Which it looks like they can. Being able to kill him before he does anything to us is very, very spicy. Uh, we'll open this chest up. We've got enough money already, which is great. Um, oh, more crit glasses is insane. Teddy bear is probably a really good bet he here. Healing isn't really too effective. We need... We need things that prevent damage rather than things that heal damage. They're the big gets. So we need 112 here. We can probably just chill up here for a little while. I do hear Mr. Thuddy thudding along somewhere. I don't know where, though. I think he's under this bridge, maybe? He's the gun dude. I need to be very careful for him because he can royally destroy me. I think he's stuck under that bridge right now. Massively increase fire rate. Get ourselves a teddy bear. Yeah, I'm certain that he's... Oh, he just fell off the map. Lovely. Lovely. That's what I like to see. Idiot damn bonked himself. He damn bonked himself. But yeah, crits are going to be huge for us. They can crit on our missiles, which is massive. Uh, but the bigger thing is just every now and again, we're going to fire a shot and it's going to be pretty much a one-hit kill. And we've got three of them, so it's like 30% chance for a crit. It's pretty huge. Also, the, the, the firework missiles, they're going to be killing a lot. They, 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 they do fly around and any enemy in radius, they will just go and kill. So we don't have to worry too much about stuff like that. Okay, we've got some stuff down there. Let's grab ourselves this chest. And it's another... Oh, that's great. Attack speed. Another great thing about it is it's going to tell us where enemies are. Another teddy bear for a bit more sustain. Bit of a chance to not get hit is fantastic. Now, to be honest, I do want to put my equipment into that equipment grabber thing, whatever it's called. Okay, what have we got here? We've got... Oh, these guys... Majorly destroy us. So let's make sure we kill them. There's two of them, so. There he is. Them guys with their bleed really do a number on us. Boss damage, very important too. Everything around us has perished. Loving this build so far. For Monsoon, this is kind of perfect. Working out great. I just want to check down here real quick. We do have a chance to try that. We have an equipment box. What have we got in there? I'm going to take the uh, the missile launcher. And what I'm going to go do is I'm going to go and smack dab put... We've got a chest here as well. Nice. Open that up. Not great. Let's 
Let's move our way up. Movement speed's helping out a decent amount here. Okay, we do have a, a few of these guys up here, which could get us. They shouldn't be able to, though. Even with their teleporting abilities, I think we should be able to get them before they get close to us. When we put you in there, that's going to remove ne negative effects from us on a regular basis. And we pick this up as our actual active. Now, this does have a lot longer cooldown, which means we aren't going to get the, the proc from um, the horn as much. But I'm relatively okay with that, considering how much the uh, missile launcher will do in terms of killing bosses and crowd control. It will it will destroy a crowd in 0 0.002 seconds flat. We can do this, I think, because we've got um, the hoopoo feather. So we can just do that there. Make sure we don't take any damage from that jump. Now, should I just take an extra careful look around? We have a good amount of money here, so we don't want to... We don't want to waste the chance at chests that we don't see. I'd rather make sure we get everything. There's a chest back there. Look, it's sneaky boy. I ain't got any big chests. Getting up there in teddy bears, though, we've got like a 20% chance to block damage now. I think it's maybe even a little higher than that, which is fantastic to see. Um, good, good, good. We have a few chance shrines dotted about. Okay. So let's, uh, let's make our way over the bridge now. Oh, yes. Wax Quail for movement is fantastic. Also, doing stuff like that is really useful. Yeah, Wax Quail is going to be very important for us getting around. Just more, It's just more enjoyable for getting around, to be honest. Being able to jump like this is crazy. As you can see, those missiles are hanging around in the air and doing good work for us. We move to an area. We open something like that. Big enemy spawns. And it clears it. Absolutely fantastic for us, to be honest. Okay, that's terrible for us. A lot of chance shrines around. A lot of chance shrines around. Uh, I guess we'll take a prod at them, considering we've got so much money. We'll, uh, we'll go and pick this up first. Not for the money, for the actual fireworks. Surprisingly so, even with one firework. One of those, fresh spawns. They have, the, the missiles hang around for long enough to clear them all out. So we really don't have to feel too bad and worry about it. Extra sprint speed is lovely. And armor plating. I don't know how much that helps this late into the game. But I can certainly respect it. I just used my missile launcher for god knows what reason. I do not know why I used that. I'm not 100% sure. I pressed it. I regret it. It's fine though. It's fine. Um... I am going to go and get this uh, chance shrine up here as well. I'm going to spend my time. I can't remember where it is, actually. There's definitely a chance shrine over here somewhere. We might be able to do this. Yeah, there you go. Let's see if it's up here. No. Down this bit. What the hell is it? I definitely saw one. Oh, it's down this bit, isn't it? There it is. It's one. Not great. Although with the extra damage, it could help. Spawning all these fireworks is the best bit about that. We'll pick up that as well. For the extra moolah. Right, now we should be able to jump off as we did last time with very little resistance. Boom. Nice. And then we can grab this. I've got a lot of money here, so I'm willing to play this a little more than normal. I like the way it spawns squid polyps for every single use. It's kind of great. Right, head away up this way. There'll be a few chests along this route that we can take. Oh, yes. More soldier syringes. Lovely. Let's just check the back of here first. Make sure we're not missing out. And we spawn the boss in. Pretty much no matter what it is, I think it's getting destroyed pretty pretty quickly here. There is two of them, however. And I don't know which one dies. Okay, good. Oh, leeching seed. 
That's a good amount of sustain, even though the healing isn't even coming too useful because most things are one-hit killers. Still really nice. Got a Luna coin there as well. Nice. And we also leveled up here, which is going to make clearing everything out for the uh, for the last 75% here a bit easier. Ah, uh, okay. I can, I can make it up on here. Good, good. Make things a little easier for us. Well, that damage is pretty crazy. Got him. I like the way our missiles just travel off in that direction just to go get someone. Oh, damn. I took a bit of fall damage there. That was a bit dumb. It's okay. We should be fine here. Got him. Oh, boy. I love this run. This run is so fun. <clears throat> We got damage out the wazoo, boys. Damage out the wazoo. Okay, so whatever boss this is needs to go down pretty quick. We'll just get really close and ATG missile launch. And I think... Actually, looks like he's coming really close. In fact... There you go. Dead, I think. No, maybe. Yeah, dead. Good, good. Makes our life a little more manageable. Gives us a good amount of money to play with, too. We'll probably save up for our legendary. We'll go check how much it is. We're in impossible difficulty, so it's going to be pretty, pretty pricey. <clears throat> I'm hoping if we can get a, um, a gesture of the drowned, that'd be great. So that's going to cost us 3,500. We just got 700 off that boss kill, meaning it shouldn't take us too long to get that money. We should even have left over for the, uh, for the other chests around. Got you. Right, gesture of the drown. Come on. Give it to me, baby. Same damn thing again. <laughs> this guy's pretty strong. Elite versions of that thing there are going to be problematic. Good, good. He's blasted. 1,600. We're almost halfway there. Whoa. Living on a prayer. Gonna take you out. Missiles, you see them. They just you see some at spawn. They automatically seek it. I mean, they do do what they just did there and hit the wall sometimes and don't exactly do... Oh, my God. There's a guy right below us. Right behind us, even. They do sometimes do what they did there and try to seek out an enemy and just hit a wall. But for the most part, they're pretty good. Do have some bigger chests around as well here. I love the way sometimes they just bounce at you. They just kind of yeet themselves right at you. So the big main things we need to look out for right now is Brass Contraptions and Elder Lomarians. Also these crabs. These crabs actually in this mode can be really, really difficult to deal with. Uh, they kind of hide out everywhere and just, just launch shots at you that you don't really see coming. It can be quite problematic. Money's going well. I'd like to do one of these, but it will spawn Elder Lamarians most definitely. Or elite versions of uh, the Brass Contraptions, I think. And both of those are really not what I want to be dealing with. Yeah. Got to be careful here. Just spawned a bunch of enemies on us. Good. At least we have a decent amount of level ups everywhere. Almost, almost at our legendary chest. We're only 600, 700 off of it. Marians are pretty close to me. I would like a few more enemies to spawn, though, just so I can get this uh, cash a bit quicker. We're not getting too many spawns right now. Oh, that guy just died behind me. That's why the ATG missiles are so good. Enemy, like, sneaks up on you from behind, and for the most part, you can just get taken out pretty easily. Uh, there's a crab. No more crabs about.
I don't like this uh, this position here. I'm gonna move over to this one. Seems a little more manageable. Okay, we still got some. Uh, we still got some. Oh, there's an elite one of you up there. I see you. That's pretty cheeky, actually. That's pretty cheeky. He's definitely gonna be a problem. We're, we're gonna have to go up and get him. I think. I think we have to seek him out. Make sure you don't get to fight. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go up and seek out that crab boy because he's gonna be launching heavy artillery from above that we can't deal with, and I can't seem to kill him. I think he should be moving round about now. Where has he gone? I don't even know where he's gone. They're trying. I can hear him trying. Oh, no. I'm going to take some big fall damage here. Oh, no. It wasn't too bad. Okay, good, good. Right, we can keep going down here now. Probably grab our legendary. I think we've got enough now. I'm just going to pop this. And it should hopefully kill a few things in the area. Legendary is... Please give me something good. Oh, that's pretty good. Shock everything nearby every 10 seconds. I can get down with that. That should kill most things nearby every 10 seconds, pretty much. And where are we looking for our boss over there? Let's wait for our ATG missile launcher to be up. And I think we're, we're ready to go on that. Uh, let's... Uh... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, that's, that's going to be good. Let's grab some chests. Infusion's really good. More crit chance is really good. Definitely want to spend some time here grabbing chests. Another legendary. That is... Can everyone know what that is? That, is that give us um, effects of elites? Temporary seal the power of slain elites. That can be good, but the uh, the the one that you get from killing the... Um, what, what are they called? Elites. The shield elites can be kind of painful sometimes. A band there. Where are we looking for more chests here? I know I saw quite a few above. In fact, let's let's go and do that. I can hear you, crabs. I can hear you. Don't think I don't. Don't think I don't see what you're doing right there. You cheeky little blighter. You cheeky bastard. Yeah, we have one up here, didn't we? Yeah. Nice. Hey, extra boss damage is great for us. We had a few up here, didn't we? Medkit isn't great for us. Oh, it was down here, wasn't it? Down this pipe, uh, this uh, steel chain. But I saw the rest of the chests. Pretty precarious angle there, but we'll make it work. Let's let's jump down here real quick. Just in case. Let's let's grab this to try and kill some things. Oh yes, that electric is insanely good. And we can hop back up here, get them two chests. Yeah, that electric is is manic. It's so good. Got ourselves a band and we got ourselves that. And then let's travel along here, see if there's anything up this way, making our way to our boss. But yeah, that electricity is going to be like our saviour. If there's anything getting close to us that we don't see, that happens. And we don't have missiles out already. The missiles do that job for us for the most part anyways. But having a secondary effect that can, that can help us in that exact same way is big. I like it. I like it a lot, actually. Okay, we do have... Indeed, um, another chest up this way. We also have one of these as well, which I'll play. Oh, no, I didn't need to grab that. Oh, well. Guillotine's great. Extra damage to elites. Well, I say extra damage. Kind of. It's extra damage, but with a different, in a different method. Right, there we go. We got our stuff. Right, let's go and do our boss. I don't think it really matters what boss this is. I think it's going to get wrecked again. Yeah.
Yep, it got wrecked again. Will of the Wisp, pretty good. Okay. A lot of crabbers. I'm hearing a lot of crabbers. He's very, very annoying. Uh, Yara Crabber. Just watch where they're getting launched from. Oh! The crabs! No! <laughs> oh no! I got bombed out of nowhere by a fucking crab! <laughs> oh, what a death that is. So unavoidable. I mean, I could have been moving a bit more, but even still, that's, <laughs> that's crazy. Either way, what a fantastic run. So much fun there. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.